Hello out there in presentation land. I'm Art Holden. I'm one of the co-owners here at Presenter Media. And today I have a little tutorial for you about using our PowerPoint templates in an older version of PowerPoint in PowerPoint 2003. So if you're using an older version of PowerPoint, um, there are a couple things you need to keep in mind when downloading PowerPoint templates from Presenter Media. So first of all, let's go ahead and download a template. Uh, I've selected uh, this template here. Um, and I'm using Firefox, so we're going to go ahead and click on download. And in Firefox, you're going to get a, a window that looks similar to this, where you have the option to open it or save it. We always want to choose save to save it to our computer. This is especially important with uh, using templates for PowerPoint 2003, because if you open them directly from the site like this, it's not going to work right for you. So let's definitely save it. Uh, if you're using like Internet Explorer, here, let's go over to Internet Explorer. Here's Internet, here, here's Internet Explorer. Um, when you click the download button, you're going to get uh, a message down here toward the bottom of the window. So let's go ahead and save it. So we'll click Save. Um, okay, it says it's downloaded. Um, we'll go ahead and open the folder, take a look. All right, here we are in my Downloads folder. Um, here's here's the, uh, the fo file that we downloaded. And notice it comes as a .zip file. Um, a zip file is an, an archive file, um, which means it has several other files inside of it. So in order for it to work properly, we need to extract all the files out of that zip file. So the easiest way to do it, and the way I like to do it, is I'll just select the file, um, right click on it, and then in, in the menu that comes up here, you'll have um, an extract or an extract all. I have extract all. That's what I want to choose. I want to extract all the files from inside that zip file. So we'll do that. Okay, and then it's going to ask me where I want to extract all these files to. Um, by default, it's just going to extract it right back into my downloads directory. Um, you can do that, that's fine. I usually like to browse and go ahead and put it on my desktop. That way I know where it's at. Um, so I'm going to select my desktop and choose OK here. And then I'm going to click on um, Extract. And it, OK, it extracted everything here. It opened up another window here uh, in my desktop. And in my desktop, I now have a, uh, a I'll find it here. It's called Envelope Please, the exact same name as the template. Um, so in, now let's go take a look inside that, that folder we just created. Now inside the folder, you're going to have the PPT file, which is the PowerPoint template. And you'll also have a WMV file or two depending on the template. Those are the movie files. Those are the animations that make the, uh, that make the animation go inside the template. You want to make sure that that movie file is always in the same directory as your PowerPoint presentation because the PowerPoint presentation is going to be looking for that movie file and if it's not in the same folder, well, the animation won't work. Okay, so let's go over to PowerPoint 2003 and we'll go ahead and open that file up. Open onto my desktop. Uh, envelope please and there's the, the PPT file that PowerPoint likes we'll go open that up alright there we have the presentation all the slides that, that are available inside that presentation and inside that template um, if we hit F5 or go under slideshow and view the slideshow to make sure the animations work see the animation play and your text comes up all right, that looks pretty good, and the other slides are there. Very good. Okay, and then you can, your template is ready to go. You can start adding your own text, uh, adding adding what you need to do. Um, I hope this helps you out, and I thank you for taking the time to watch.